Welcome to another edition of Courting Cinderella's on the Field of 68 Media Network. This series is made possible by our partners at Prediction Strike, the only marketplace that allows you to buy and sell shares of your favorite athletes. Hear more at the end of this interview. All right, we're now pleased to be joined by UNC Asheville head coach Mike Morell, who is going to give us uh, the ultimate scouting report on the Winthrop Eagles. And uh, we'll start with an easy one, Mike. Why can Winthrop advance in the NCAA tournament? Well, you know, Jeff, they, they remind me a, a little bit of the teams uh, that we had at VCU. Not, not exactly the style of play, but they're extremely unique in how they play. And they're hard to prepare for. Not only their personnel, but just how they play. They're extremely fast. They are as deep of a team as I can remember playing. Uh, Coach Kelsey's just done a tremendous job with those guys. And in today's age, uh, you, you don't really – like they don't have a lot of guys that average. Maybe, maybe Chandler Vaudrin averages over 25 minutes per game. But they just wear you down. And it's really hard to simulate how they play on offense – and I really think they're extremely underrated defensively. Um, and they, they just stay fresh, man. They're old, uh, which you know, old wins in March. Um, but uh, they are going – I don't know what seed they're going to get, 13, 12. I, I'm not sure. But I know this, I would not want to see them if I were a higher seed. Uh, because it's really, really hard to prepare for those guys. And, and it's really a credit to them. They do a great job playing together. Um, and I do think this too, Jeff, I think they're playing with a chip on their shoulder because they, they won the league last year too and did not get an opportunity to play in a tournament. Who's their best player or players? Who do you got? I mean, obviously, uh, Vaudrin is, is right. the guy who gets the most credit. Mm -hmm. uh, is he the guy that you've got to focus on? I don't know that you can focus on one guy. I mean, if, if you watch their game today, I mean, DJ Burns was 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 unreal. Um, you know, it really starts with him. But they, I'm telling you, man, they are so deep. Uh, I mean, they can go 11 deep and 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 not think a thing about it. Uh, when you look at their stat sheet, sometimes you kind of like you, you take a second look because they have so many guys who average double figure minutes a game, but Vaudrin's really good. Um, you know, I think a guy who, who, who doesn't get talked about enough for them is Charles Falden. Um, he's an older guy. He makes shots. Uh, Anumba, I mean, they do enough. They're the best team in our league by far at crashing the offensive glass. So um, they, got, they got a lot of guys, man. And, and obviously, DJ Burns is, is, is a guy who can score at any level. He's a transfer from Tennessee. So, I mean, he's, he's obviously was recruited at a high level, but he can score against anybody. Uh, they just pose a lot of matchup problems. And, and we could talk about other guys too, but those are the three guys. And Adonis Arms can really get it going too. Uh, he's a guy who, who can shoot, he can bounce it. And with the pace of play, they just get a lot of people involved. So if you go into a game saying, we're going to shut this guy down, you're probably going to get hurt because those other guys play with a lot of confidence too. What is your biggest concern with them maybe matching up against a, a high major team or uh, what's their biggest weakness? Well, i tell you this, they're not going to be afraid of anybody. Uh, they're not going to fear anybody. And, and I think that's, that's really um, obviously uh, kudos to them uh, because they've won a ton of games. I don't know how many games, you know, they've won out of, out of whatever. Um, so if you're a high major team or, or a high level team, at, you know, and you expect it, you know, them to, to kind of be afraid of you, they're not going to fear you. And so I don't know that they have a lot of weaknesses. What are they? 20, 22 and one or something like that. They shoot the ball. Extremely and you got the well. one, you get, you got the one against them. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I tell you, they shoot it extremely well, and they go on runs like you're kind of like it's a 9-0 run before you can even before you can even turn your head a little bit. So, so how did you get them, Mike? How did how did you beat them in, in the one win? What did what did you do that worked? Well, I I'm, I don't know that we I, mean, I don't know, I don't want to say that we did anything, but they you've got to limit their runs. 
and you've got to really try to guard the three. Um, Valdrin is just so good at getting others involved, and he's so big, he backs you down and he kind of makes the defense converge. And, man, as soon as you do that, somebody's getting an open three. So, um, obviously, you know, they need to see shots go in, but they can beat you in a variety of ways. So, I don't know that they have a lot of weaknesses. Um, and again, I think Jeff, I don't think they get the credit for how good they are defensively because how good they are offensively. Right, right, right. And so, um, the door really swings both ways for those guys. Um, they've done a great job, man. And, and I've been in the big South for three years as a head coach and in, in, in the league, one is an assistant and, and they're the best team that I've seen. So they're really good. Well, we, we appreciate the in-depth scouting report. Uh, Mike Morell, head coach, uh, UNC Asheville, the only team uh, to beat Winthrop uh, this season. So uh, there it is. You have it. Uh, the scouting report on the Winthrop Eagles, why they're so good and what you have to do to beat them from somebody that actually did beat them. Has there ever been a rookie that you just knew was going to be a star? How many young players in the NBA and the NFL have there been that you wish you could have invested in? Well, now, Prediction Strike makes that wish a reality. Prediction Strike is the only performance-based sports stock market that allows you to buy and sell shares of professional athletes as if they were stocks. Prediction Strike lets fans create portfolios of their favorite athletes so that you can get even closer to the game. Don't just draft your favorite players in fantasy. Invest in them. Here's what you have to do. Visit PredictionStrike.com or download their app on the App Store to create an account. Then deposit funds to buy, sell, or hold shares of your favorite players, just like you would do with real stocks. The value of the players will change based on game performance, and you can trade your shares of players at any time as long as the player isn't currently playing in a game. Prediction Strike also just rolled out a brand new feature that allows you to join a league or add friends just to see who the Sharps are buying stock in. See who is performing well, who has a better portfolio than you, and whose trades you can follow. So head to predictionstrike.com now or download the app now. Sign up with the promo code FIELD. Again, that's FIELD, F-I-E-L-D, and you'll receive $10 free with your first deposit of $20 or more. That's the code FIELD again, F-I-E-L-D. <laughs>